Hey guys, how are you here from the Art Gear guys? Thanks very much for joining me today. As you can see, I've got a review here of the Arteezo Expert watercolor pencils. Uh, if you cast your mind back so over some of my other reviews I've done with regards to Arteezo, I've done their Expert color pencils. Uh, I've also done a review of their brush, uh, their watercolor brush pens. There's 96 of those. Uh, I really love both those products. Uh, they were fantastic, uh, really high quality, uh, at a really really low price point. Um, in fact, actually, I think with the, the artwork that I've done with the Arteza brush pens, I think that was one of my personal favorites of the, um, certainly with a watercolor medium. Uh, the the roses that I did with the, the brush pens, that was kind of like one of my favorite um, pieces. Now, throughout this review, actually, I'm going to be kind of talking about three different Arteza products. But I will do more in-depth reviews of, of the other two products later on. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Arteza um, water brush pens that I was sent as well. Um, but like I say, I, I will do uh, a more in-depth review of these brush pens because th there's uh, there's six of them there in a packet. So uh, it, it's it's probably worthwhile worth my while doing a, a, a just a, a proper review on those and i will also be doing talking a little bit about the um the arteza uh expert watercolor pad now I, I was sent this um along with the arteza watercolor pencils uh and the artwork that i've done with these pencils was done on this arteza um expert watercolor pad now this is a cold press pad it's dual sided so um one side is a little bit textured and the other side is much much smoother uh, it says here it's acid free and it's glue bound so you can lift the pages out really quite easily um but i'll, I'll discuss this a little bit more later on uh, as always with these reviews i will have uh prices of all of these different products over on the art gear guide so with regards to the sets that are available in this, I'll, I'll just get that one out of the way first because it's really quite simple. Uh, there's a 72 set and a 48 set, that's it. They only do two sets. These pencils don't come open stock or anything like that. Um, and I think that's probably down to the fact of the, the price point. But again, uh, due to the fact that the prices change all the time and what have you, it's, it's easier for me to discuss prices on my written reviews because I can change that accordingly, whereas with these videos I can't. Um, but I suspect that the, the reason why that it's not open stock is down to the price point. Um, if you are thinking about going out after this review and purchasing a set of watercolor pencils from Arteza, just be mindful of the fact that they have this expert range and then they also have like a premium range. Now the premium range come in like a little tube. Um, so I just want you to be mindful because I haven't tested, I haven't reviewed the, the premium range, so I don't really know uh, anything about their, their performance or anything like that. Okay, so let's get into the actual review here of the, the pencils. So I have a couple of small issues and they, they are small uh, and one issue is a little bit more confusing than, than an issue really. So the first thing is, and I actually had this issue with the um, the the colored pencils when they come to you in these tins these tins are really quite uh, useful actually it's a hinge tin here uh, and then it, you've got three layers of trays there'll be some images coming up here and you'll see the, the pencils closer uh, and the colors but the the little trays that the pencils come in you have three of them but the colors are kind of like all over the place they're not like Cut, laid out the way I have them here now I've, with the colored pencils and these watercolor pencils as soon as I opened the tins I got them all out and tried to lay them in in some sort of color range uh, and that's just my own personal preference maybe some people for, for some people that's not really relevant it doesn't matter uh, I'm a little bit more lazy so I would prefer not to have to do that whenever I open a set of these I would prefer for the colors to be kind of like color code coded uh, right out of the tin so to speak but like I say that, that that is one issue that I had with them and it is a small issue um, 
so let's take a look at the the actual pencils themselves before we start getting into performance so just let me move this tin over to the side uh, as you can see here, first of all, right off the bat, they're hexagonal barrel, whereas the color pencils were a round barrel. Uh, it's a four millimeter core, which is kind of quite standard for watercolor pencils. You, 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 you need to have like a nice, thick, robust core, which, which these pencils are. Uh, and the barrel itself is uh, 7.5 millimeter, closer, closer to 7.7 .7 millimeters. Um, uh, so on one side of the barrel here, we have the Arteza uh, logo and name, the company name. Further along from that a little bit we have the, the paintbrush icon which just indicates to users that it is a water soluble pencil. Then we also have here that it's an expert range. Again that's a useful thing to have because if you go out and you get the premium and you get the expert and you put them in the jars like a lot of people do, uh, it's handy just to be able to know which brand that you're lifting out. That type of thing. Mind you having said that, I think and I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that the premium watercolor pencils from Arteza are a triangle um, barrel. So, you know, things like that would, would indicate it to you straight away. Uh, right on the very end here, there's kind of like just a, a little decorative uh, silver band here, which just uh, exposes a half inch flash here on the end. But the entirety of the barrel indicates the pigment of the core. So... You can see from all the different images that I've shown you that the, the barrels are exactly the same color as the core, whereas some pencils have the uh, the, the the pigment indicator on the end here. Uh, on the other side here, we then have the pigment name, followed by an alphanumeric number, which is uh, to do with the, the core. And then after that, we have the light fast ratings here. Now, this is where things get really confusing as far as the Arteza pencils are concerned um, and I do think that it's something that I think it should really be cleared up uh, once and for all it should be put on their website or something like that when I was doing uh, so first of all let me just explain the, the, the scale so Arteza have these little plus signs as the the light fast rating um, they have a 1 plus, a 2 plus, and a 3 plus. Now, on both occasions, with the colored pencils and the watercolor pencils, whenever I asked them what their scale was, uh, for the watercolor pencils, I was told that 1 plus is the highest, 2 plus is the next, and 3 plus is the least. So, in other words, uh, what it said here on the email was... Um, 1 plus equals excellent, 2 plus equals very good, and 3 plus equals good. Now, when I done the review of the colored pencils, again, I went to Arteza and I asked them, and I, but it was a different thing then. It was 3 plus equals excellent, 2 plus equals very good, and 1 plus equals good. Now, back then, that made sense to me because on that basis, in this 72 set of uh watercolor pencils 11 of them are 1 plus 20 of them are 2 plus and 40 of them are good so that leaves 71 in this set and the other set and when i done the the review of the uh the color pencils i thought it was a a mistake but there is a 4 plus pencil in there as well so but arteza only only give you the the um the ratings of one, two, and three. So where this four comes from and why it's not on their scale, I don't know. So if three is good, what is four? Poor? Uh, I don't know. But there, there is only one of those pencils in there um, of the four. But like I said, there's only 11 uh, of one plus and 20 of two plus. So that's what, 30, 31 pencils. Now, if you are a... A color pencil artist and you're going to be doing like a commission or something like that and you're going to be doing it based on the fact that you want the best light fast that you can get with these pencils that that means that there's only 31 pencils out of 72 that you can use what i would say is if you are a color pencil artist these pencils are really high quality really high pigmented and stuff like that i'm going to get into the performance of them in a second um but i wouldn't use them for commissions or anything like that and and if you do want to be cautious 
and you, you are going to do a commission with them, like I say, stick to the one plus and the two plus pencils. So that means that you're going to have uh, 30, 31 pencils, I believe, um, that will do you in good stead with regards to uh, fading, that type of thing. Um, I will get back to Arteza and I'll ask them, what does the good mean in terms of light fast? You know, how many years are you talking there? What What is the time period that these pencils are going to start fading uh, with the 3 Plus? Because um, I think it's important if you're going to, look at these pencils as light fast pencils it's important to know this information it's important to know uh, is are these one plus pencils going to last a hundred years or is there some other scale that is being used here uh, which is the case with certain other pencils that I've used which is the reason why for the last year and a half or something I've been researching um, the whole issue surrounding light fast the whole confusion between the ASTM and the blue wool system which systems better why is one system supposed to be better than the other that type of thing but that's a video that i'll be doing later on okay so i did do uh, a little swatch um like i say i have done the um the artwork with these pencils and i've thoroughly enjoyed um using them the pigments on them are so rich and vibrant they are gorgeous pencils to use just like the uh arteza expert pencils as well the, the color pencils but here's my kind of like my third issue with the this set, and I, and again I had exactly the same issue with the colored pencils. So this is the swatch that I've done. So I've done the pencils dry. Again, I'll have um, I'll have close up images of both these swatches here. So I've done the pencils dry, and I've done them uh, activated with water. But if you can, if you take a look here at the yellow ochre, the turmeric, and the honey. Those three colors are practically identical and the pencils as well. Um, I mean, it, it's not like the barrels are significantly different and it's only when you use them uh, that you notice this. Uh, I'll show you the, the, the pencils now, the three pencils that I'm talking about. Because uh, I, I, it, it was the exact same pencils that I used um, that I had the issue with in the colored pencil range. But if you take a look at those pencils there, um, the yellow ochre, turmeric and honey, I mean, they, they are almost identical. There really is very, very little in it. And so for me, there's three other colors that are like that as well here. I think it's the uh, flamingo, the peony and the fruit punch. These three pinks here, they're very, very similar as well, but there is slightly more in these three pinks than what there is in the, the yellow ochre colours. Um, I just think that they maybe could have took, say, the turmeric and honey and tried to put two different colours in there, like maybe two different greys or, uh, I don't know, maybe another blue and another red or something. Uh, and done the same with these pinks, only because they are so close together. They're so very, very close together. This is the, the colours activated, so you can see how bright and vibrant the colours are when they are activated. Um, their, their pigments are gorgeous. I don't know. I said this with the colour pencils as well. I don't know how they can get away with selling these pencils so cheap, uh, because the pigments are so bright and vibrant. Um, now, when I was... Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm just going to lift out some pencils. I'm going to show you these pencils. Um, I'm going to activate them, that type of thing, using the the Arteza watercolor pad that I was sent. Okay, so I have the Arteza watercolor pad here. So I'm just going to take one of the pages out of it. Like I say, this is um, cold press paper. It's dual sided. Um, and it's uh, like a gummed line. So I'm gonna I'll, I'm gonna have some images popping up here on the screen, and hopefully the images that I have are gonna be able to show you the different textures from both sides of these paper. What, like I say, one has a slightly rougher texture, and on the other side, it's much much smoother. So um, just for the sake of this test, this this demonstration of the, the pigments. I'm just going to use the, the textured, the more slightly more textured side. Um, 
so I'm just laying down a few colors here. Now I am pushing down really heavy on these. Actually, what I'll do is I'll do like a heavy application uh, and then a relatively light, like a middle application below it. But um, when if you go across and you're watching the speed drawing that I have uh, uploaded, uh, the botanical speed drawing that I that I did using these pencils, you will also notice somewhere along the lines in that video um, that I used like a little palette. Um, it's not an Arteza product, which is which is the reason why I'm not really going to discuss it much here. But it is a really handy little tool, um, and it's for primarily watercolor pencils. I've already done a review of it, so I'll have a link for it down below uh, in the description box, and you can go across and take a little look at it yourself. Uh, but it's a very handy little tool to have if you are using watercolor pencils quite frequently. So I've just done a red, blue, green, yellow, and I've got um, the black here as well. So again, I'm just going to do a heavy application. And the only, you know, the proper demonstration of these pencils is, of course, in the, the artwork and the speed drawing that I've done. But just for the sake of this, this is kind of just like a little demonstration. So I'm just going to use the pen here to activate this. Let me zoom in a little bit for you on this one. Okay, there we go. So, like I say, I'm just using the Arteza water pen here. Um, all you do is you squeeze this little button here. Uh, water comes down through the reservoir and then you're good to go. So you can see there with the thick one, I mean, I could put a lot of uh, pressure on that. There's a lot of pigment down there, but you can see yourself. Um, I always tend to find that the mark of a, a decent watercolor pencil is that there's no squiggly lines underneath, you know, like pencil lines from where you've been rubbing the pencil. Uh, and that isn't the case with these Arteza water, water brush, or sorry, watercolor pencils. But you can see there how rich and vibrant that red is. And then I'm just going to go down here and do this one here, which was the light application. You can see there. That was a much lighter application, but you can still see how rich and vibrant that pigment is. Now onto the blue. This is kind of like a, a periwinkle blue. And then I'll just go down here onto this one. With the Arteza uh, colored pencils as well, it was the same thing for them. Their pigment in the pencils were really nice, really nice and soft. Um, there was no problem with layering or anything like that. And when I was doing the, the artwork for these, this botanical piece, um, I didn't have any issues whatsoever with the, the pencils. Um, every single one of the pencils that I used for that particular piece uh, performed really, really well. Also sharpen enough the pencils. I with the um, the Arteza colored pencils. I never had a single issue with with the full seventy two. Uh, with this set, I only had one pencil that uh, kind of uh, just didn't sharpen. Every time I sharpened it, the the core fell out of it, and that was with ju just one pencil. And I sharpened them all because. When you get a set of pencils, even the ones that come pre-sharpened, I don't know, there's 
there's just like a it seems like there's just like a, a waxy material or something on the the core uh, and i just prefer sharpening it myself to get it out of the way uh, and to sharpen it to the point that i want not um how the pencils have come but i like i said i only had one pencil in the full 72 set of the watercolor pencils where it it must have just dropped or something or knocked against something when it was going into the tin at the manufacturing plant something like that i don't know but it's no big deal I suppose it would be obviously it would be a big deal if it was like loads of pencils, but that certainly wasn't the case with me. So there you have it. Um, the colors there that I've used is um, it's a carmine red, periwinkle blue. Um, this is like a grass green, um, sunflower yellow, and then the the black. And that's really about it, guys. That's it for this review of um, the Arteza watercolor pencils. The pad that I used as well, this 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 paper that Arteza um, sent for me to, to use for the, the demonstration and the review, I actually enjoyed using it. I wouldn't do a commission with this paper. Um, if you're going to do uh, a commission or something like that, I would suggest like a 100% cotton type paper. That's more expensive, but I think that type of paper, for me personally, you get better results. But with this paper that Arteza, um, this is a 32 sheet pad. Uh, again, I'll have the prices over on the, the, the written review, but for the price of this pad and the quality of the paper, you really cannot go wrong at all. Um, and like I said, the artwork that I done with it uh, came up really nice um, using the paper and using the RTs of watercolor paper and the watercolor pencils. And for the vast majority of it as well, I used the, the RTs of brush pens, but I did go back in and use uh, just an ordinary uh, watercolor brush and water. Sometimes I, um, with and it's not just the RTs, the brush pens, it's it's this type of pen. Sometimes um, I can't get the control of them properly. It um, Sometimes the water will flow out too much or what have you, and I'm back and forward to a tissue. Uh, so I just used the um, watercolor or paintbrush for certain areas of it. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the RTs, the watercolor pencils. I hope you enjoyed the review. Leave any comments down below if you uh, have any questions about these pencils that maybe perhaps I haven't covered. But if I haven't covered everything, don't forget, go across to the written review because there's certain things that I cover over there that I don't cover in the in the uh, video. I'll also have a list of all the pencils that uh, carry the Lightfast ratings. So all the pencils that are rated 1+, plus, all the pencils that are rated 2+, plus, and all the pencils that are rated 3+. Plus and that four plus one as well so if you want to know what pencils are which uh, i'll have that listed over on the written review as well as the prices there will also be links down below in the description where you can go across and links over on the uh, written review where you can go across and find any of these other products that i've used uh, and that's really about it i look forward to seeing you again next time guys and thank you so much for uh watching this review i've got so many fantastic products to review for you and i just want to say also congratulations to the winner of the last giveaway um that's it guys all the best bye